hey world, and nobody here. And somehow, I've managed to bag myself another five-star hotel. And this time, we're staying in the Corinthia in Budapest, Hungary. Now, don't get it twisted, I am still very much a teacher in the UK, and I don't know if you've seen the news, but I'm not made of money. But I did manage to get this hotel for an absolute bargain. To book a three-star hotel, it was only 50 pound cheaper. So, can you blame me? I'll get to costs at the end of the video, so do make sure you stick around to see that. But I'm gonna give you my initial impressions of what I thought about this hotel. That's going to include my thoughts on my stay, the bedroom, the breakfast, and the spa. Cause yes, the hotel did include a spa at no extra cost. So. If you enjoy travel, do make sure that you subscribe because I'm known to travel to a place or two and let's get on to the review. Let's start with my initial impressions. When we walked around the corner to see the hotel, I literally went, wow, this is really fancy. So in terms of service, we were kind of left to our own devices. It actually really made my husband and I laugh that one morning when we came down to breakfast, the waiter asked how we were and we said, oh, we're good, how are you? And he was completely and utterly shocked at the fact that we had asked him how he was. Clearly, they're just not really used to that sort of interaction, which is perfectly fine. He was still really lovely, uh, but it just made me laugh that personal sort of service just wasn't sort of norm in this hotel. But the staff were, however, they were very nice. My only disappointment that I had was that there wasn't a doorman. And I know I shouldn't judge a hotel on one thing. Whenever I think of five star hotels, I always think of, oh, like there's a doorman to greet me and open the door for me. So they were missing that. But that's literally a very minute detail. Next, let's go into the room. I would say it was a pretty standard size, same size as when I stay in three star and four star hotels. However, the room was really nice, uh, nicely decorated, and the bed was really comfortable. I was, however, really impressed by the bathroom. The bathroom was actually really quite big, and it had both a bath and a shower. Ooh, there's a bath. Bath. Yes. And a shower. So it was nice to have options depending on what mood that you're in and how you prefer to bathe. There were great amenities. We had a robe and slippers provided. We also had teas and coffees, the kettle and cups. There was also a sewing kit, which I personally always really like, as well as a shoe shiner and waters provided. I think there was a dry cleaning service. However, I can't comment on this because I personally didn't use it. But again, that's nice to know that if you do want to have your clothes freshly cleaned and looked after, there is that service available there for you. There was plenty of cupboard space. I never use cupboards, just find it easier to live out my suitcase. But again, if you want to hang up your clothes, plenty of cupboard space for that. A nice seating area and TV was also provided. In terms of the view this was really strange instead of looking out onto the street you actually looked inside the hotel and the dining area this was actually nice in the end because of there was at least one night where they had a string quartet and it was nice just to hear the music and enjoy the ambiance. Overall, I'm really happy with the room. For me, I don't really spend a lot of time in my room. I was too busy trying to look at all the sites in Budapest. There was too much to see, so it did the job. However, something I can comment on was the breakfast because you best believe that I was gonna get my money's worth when it came to that buffet. It has a great buffet selection, uh, both sweet and savory, pastries, bread, fish, cereal, pickle, salad, yogurt, all your usual breakfast stuff. But me, I always, always judge a breakfast on its hot food because I am an English woman. I love a fry up and that is the thing that sets me up for the day. So I always, always look for a cooked breakfast and it did not disappoint. They had a fantastic cooked breakfast option. They had your sausages and your bacon and your eggs. And they also had some Hungarian options, which I thought was really nice because it was a nice way to actually experience some Hungarian food. I have made a video on Hungarian food. So if you are interested in things to try, please do view that. I'll link it down in the description below. Something that I actually really enjoyed, they had a fresh breakfast option here. They made the breakfast in front of you. We had some Hungarian style scrambled eggs, which were really really delicious so if you didn't want something that may have been sat there for a couple of minutes at least you knew that you were getting a fresh 
breakfast there. You also had a pancake machine. There was always fresh food being brought out and you could see the food being made in front of you. And I think that's something I really appreciate because I know what's going into my meals. Something which was really nice on Valentine's Day, they actually had a champagne breakfast. I'm not an 8 a.m. champagne drinker, but I did manage to try the Bucks Fizz and to make it just a little bit romantic. So I really appreciated that. It was my husband and mine 11th anniversary as well so again it was just it just made it more special so I really appreciated that but if you are not a champagne drinker do not panic you're not forced to drink champagne and champagne only plenty of drinks options there's fresh juices hot drinks your teas but any coffee that you wanted very highly recommend the breakfast they do also have that sister restaurant called caviar and bull however looking at the menu price there ain't a chance in hell that I'm ever going to be able to afford that so let's move on next we have the Royal Spa. Now we were really lucky, this was actually a free upgrade for us and so that was a really wonderful surprise and of course we had to go and try it out. We were provided with robes and slippers to use when we access the spa. The biggest feet in the world. <laughs> The spa is open from 8am to 8pm and is accessible all throughout those times and it had plenty of facilities oh, wow. for us to use. There was a 50 metre pool, two jacuzzis, a sauna room, a steam room and a relaxation area. As well as this, there is also a 24-7 gym as well. The area itself is also really beautiful. It was nice to just sit and look at the pool. We definitely had a relaxing time while we were there. There are also extra treatments that you do have to pay for. This includes your facials, a massage, you know, the usual things that you would get in a spa. We personally didn't go for it, so I can't comment on it, but judging by what the spa was like, I assume that those treatments are actually probably going to be quite high quality as well. We didn't actually manage to spend a lot of time in this spa. We made a point of going at least once because of it was available to us, but we were just too busy being out enjoying the city. So we didn't spend loads of time in there, but the time we did spend it was really nice and I'm actually glad that we had that included. It made me feel quite fancy you know oh well, I've got a spa in my hotel how often do I get to say that? Finally the cost. How much did all these things the breakfast the room the spa all total up to? We stayed for three nights including all the things I've talked about came to £437.65. Very specific I know but that is the price that we ended up paying. I thought this was a fantastic price, especially when considering that if I went for a three-star hotel with breakfast, but no spa included, it would have only been 50 pound less. So naturally, I instantly booked it. I thought it was a bargain. This hotel did not disappoint. The location is really central. So we were very close to attractions such as the Parliament Building and the River Danube. Budapest is a really large city. So no matter what you're going to have to get transport at some point. The transport was really accessible. It literally walked out the hotel to two minutes and there was a subway. So I thought that the location was fantastic as well considering the price. Now there are some things that I do have to note when it comes to the price. Number one is as mentioned I am a teacher so unfortunately I can only visit places at peak times so this does make the price increase. However some other things to factor in is the fact that I visited Budapest in February so this is a quieter season to visit so that's something to consider and as well as this unfortunately the Ukraine war is playing a big part in Budapest tourism not being as popular as it normally is so again I think this is why the prices were lower than perhaps they might be depending on whatever time you are watching this. So I visited in February 2023 and so that's the price that I paid. So with that this is my concluding video on Budapest in Hungary. I do hope that I managed to cover everything and think if you have an opportunity to visit Budapest, 100% go. It is such a wonderful city. And if you are interested in what it's like to visit Budapest, if you're interested in the food of Budapest, I have actually got some videos, which I will link down below in the description box, where you can see what we managed to get up to during our time there. If you did enjoy the video, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up. If you enjoy travel videos, then please do make sure you subscribe and hopefully I will see you again in the future. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.